Hi friends, meet me again, Ginny boy. So, how are you? Hmm, I'm trying to find out any interesting topic today. Yes, I got it. Plants. Plants. Come on, join me to find out about plants. Hi friends, my name is Lily. Today, we will discuss about plants. Water is important for plants. Plants need the right amount of water for healthy growth. Too much water might kill the plant. Too little water will make the plant grow unhealthy. So, how much water does the plant need? It has been a week already since I have started on this experiment. Let me show you what I have been working on. Three pots here. Pot A, B, and C. Can you identify the difference in this pot? The plant in pot A has built it. It's dying. This happened because I did not water the plant for a week. The plant in pot B is not so healthy. The leaves are turning brown. This plant did not get enough water because I water it with one teaspoon of water every day. plant in pot C is growing healthily. I water this plant with one pickup of water every day. Let's measure the height of the plant in pot C and B. Plan B is 17 centimeter. Plan C is 20 centimeter. This shows that plan C has become taller and bigger than plan B. Oops, I forgot. There is one more pot in here. This plant is dead. Why? Because I watered this plant then because of water every day.
Firstly, we know that plants need the right amount of water to survive. Plant can't survive without water. Too much water may kill them. Too little water also may kill them. Plants need the right amount of water for healthy growth. Through the activity that we have done earlier, we know that plants need the right of water for healthy growth. Too little water may kill them. Too much water. Hey Lily, what are you saying? Hi Madam Sophia, I was saying that too much water may kill the plant. Yes Lily, that's right. Too much water may kill them. Plants need the right amount of water. Um, Madam Sophia, what plant is this? Um, this is a rose plant. Nice! It has flower. It's lovely. Look at this flower. See? <laughs> See? There? It smells oh. nice. Oh. Come, Lily. I want to show you some other plants. The flower develops into a fruit. There are seeds in the fruit. When a seed falls on the ground, it will grow into a new plant. Then, the plant will start to grow and becomes a young plant. This plant later will bear flowers and fruits, so the circle continues. Some plants, such as ferns, molds, and mushrooms, do not have flowers. These non-flowering plants produce new plants from spores. For example, when the mushroom wants to produce a new plant, its caps opens and releases the spores. Madam Sophia, Earlier, you were telling that new plants are formed from the seed found in the fruit. Yes, that's right, Lily. Look at this papaya tree. In the papaya, there are so many seeds. So, if the seed falls on the ground, it will form a new plant. Mm, are you sure? Come, let me show you. Let's go. Ah, oh, it's a very hot day. Yes, very hot. Lily, now I want to cut this papaya. Let's Wow! 
It is. Look. Okay, touch this. See? It's many seeds here. Yeah. <laughs> See? What is this? That is a seed too. Now, I want to show you another fruit which has many seeds. Look at this watermelon. Ah, it's very hard. <laughs> Thank you, Libby. It's okay. Ah. Uh. Wow. wow. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, so many seeds. Does all fruits contain many seeds? No. Not all fruits have many seeds. There's a two color seeds here. Look, this is a white color seed. And these only have one brown seed. Yeah, it's only one brown color seed. Okay, let me cut. If we can find Another brown seed. Okay. Come, let me help you. Okay. Some fruits have many seeds. Some fruits have one seed only. An apple has many seeds. A durian has many seeds. Papaya has many seeds. A rambutan has only one seed. A watermelon has many seeds. A mango has only one seed. Watermelon have two colors? Yes, I know that. One is red and one is yellow. And I like the yellow color. Ah, me too. Come follow me, Lily. Where are you taking me? 
Just follow. Come. I'm going to plant this coconut. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Nothing. I just want you to observe that we can grow a new coconut plant from the coconut. Oh yeah, coconut has no seed inside it. It means some plants can grow without a seed. Yes, Lily. We can plant the coconut to grow a new plant. Let's wow. do it together. Wow! There's so many things that I have learned today. Yeah, come, you hold this. Plant can't survive without water. Too much water may kill them. Too little water also may kill them. Plant needs the right amount of water for healthy growth. We also learn that a flowering plant produces seeds which can grow into new plants. The flower develops into a fruit. There are seeds in the fruit. When a seed falls on the ground, it will grow into a new plant. Then, the plant will start to grow and becomes a young plant. This plant later will bear flowers and fruits, so the cycle continues. And we also learn about fruits. 
Some fruit have no seed. Some have one seed, and others have many seeds. We meet up again. Bye. I have a little plant. I water it daily. It needs water to grow and make it stay healthy. My plant has grown taller, has given me many fruits. The fruit has many seeds, the seeds will grow another. I want the reed daily It needs water to grow And make it stay healthy Stay healthy Uh-huh now I understand what is plants. How about you, friends? Plants need the right amount of water for healthy growth. When a plant grows, it becomes taller, bigger, and has more leaves. Flowering plants produce seeds which can grow into new plants. Different plants produce different kinds of seeds. Okay friends, I have to go. See you soon. Bye!